Welcome to the first episode of SIA TV. My name is Robin Smith. Sport Inclusion Australia wanted to do something positive for athletes during this pandemic to keep you connected, keep you fit and focused for when competition recommences. We hope you enjoy it. Stay safe, stay tuned and don't forget to wash your hands. It means the absolute world to represent Australia because it proves that cricket is a sport for all abilities. Words can't really describe the feeling when you put on the shirt and go out to play alongside your best mates. It's just so inspiring and, and I love it. My name's Justin, I'm an Australian cricketer. Hi, my name's Dean, and welcome to the first instalment of the SIA Exercise Home Video Series. I'm here today with my sisters Georgia and Martine, and we're going to take you through a few exercises you can do at home with minimal equipment to hopefully maintain your fitness and your strength uh, throughout this unprecedented time. So we've got Martine first up, who's going to demonstrate a split squat. So what we want is her to stand side on for the purpose of this video. Feet spread nice and, and far apart. We're just gonna get her to try and drop her knee down towards the ground where she's creating some right angles with her lower body. So you can see there, she's nice and upright with her posture. She's pushing through the heel on her front foot and you should get a fair bit of loading through the hamstring quads, glutes, a little bit of calf. It's a great lower body strength exercise, this one. Perfect. So for this, you want to try and go through about eight to 12 reps each leg, switch sides, two to three sets each leg as you, as you feel you can cope. To add weight, to make it more difficult, you can have uh, something holding in your hands like a, a backpack or something on your shoulders. Um, be creative with that and just try and make sure that you, you progress gradually. Hi everyone, my name is Alberta. I'm a track and field athlete and what I like to do is um, is to train really hard. I, I train about six to seven hours, three times a day in one week and in my spare time I just like to, you know, hang out with friends and go to movies and just spend time with family and just chill. I know it's been hard to go out while, we, while we're still locked down and all that, but I'm hoping you guys are keeping well and finding ways to keep fit and you know keep your mind busy as well. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys at the next um, big competition. Stay safe, guys. Have a good morning routine. Now, for me, a morning routine can look like lots of different things, but I reckon the way you start your day really sets you up for the day. So maybe your morning routine is a walk, maybe it's your favorite exercise or activity that you'd like to do. Perhaps it could be some morning yoga or meditation. I know that's how I love to start my day. And then follow that with a good brekkie full of lots of vitamins and nutrients that sets you up, fuels you for a day ahead. And I reckon if you start your morning routine well, then you kind of feel like you've got control of your day. So try that, start with a morning routine and mix it up. A bit of variety is always great. Puffin the penguin. Puffin the penguin lives on the ice with his parents and aunties who give him advice. Puffin be careful or you'll be a meal to the orca, the sea lion and the leopard seal. Puffin and his friends play with pebbles for fun. At midnight they bask in the Antarctic sun. On their tummies along, on the ice floor they slid. Plop! In 
into the water to search for some squid. His mum and his dad said, Puffin, take care. Of the orca and the sea lion, you must beware. And the leopard seal lurks. On penguins he'll sup. You must take great care or he'll gobble you up. But for Puffin, their warnings were quickly forgotten. He ducked and he dived right down to the bottom. He spied something shiny in the deep sea ice glade. Is this a fish? No, it's a bay blade. Puffin pecked and he poked. This is a magic egg. I will take this home and hatch it on my leg. He heaved and he hove till his flippers were sore. A herculean effort, he dragged it ashore. Around Puffin's egg, the penguins all flock. About the orca and the sea lion, they have all forgot. The leopard seal lurks. They don't notice him there. He watches and he waits with a cold, hungry stare. You silly Puffin, Uncle Puffer announces. This isn't an egg. I'm throwing it out. Puffin grabs his egg. There's an almighty tussle. His uncle has one. He has far too much muscle. Egg over the edge, Uncle Puffer announces. While nobody is watching, the leopard seal pounces. The penguins all shriek, it's the leopard seal. It's got me, it's got me, Uncle Puffer squeals. Uncle Puffer is caught in the sea leopard's great maw. His head and his feet dangle below its cruel jaw. It's got me, goodbye. I have a strong hunch. I'm going to be the leopard seal breakfast and lunch. For poor Uncle Puffer, things look very grim. But Puffin's magic egg is starting to spin. It whirls and it whirs and it gathers up speed towards the sea leopard who pays it no heed. It hits the sea leopard and gives him a fright before he has taken his very first bite. The egg knocks the leopard seal into the sea. His mouth is wide open. Uncle Puffer swims free. The penguins all shout, Puffin, you've saved the day. And your magical egg, we vote it stays. The orca, the sea lion, will not venture near. And the leopard seals shaking and quaking with fear. Uncle Puff is still grumpy. Only one thing he said. I have leopard seal teeth marks from my feet to my head. Puffin the Penguin G'day everyone, hope you're all safe. My name is Andrew, my sport is basketball, and I, and I train about once once a week, and that's really, and it has put, put me off since the COVID-19 came into effect. So, hope, hope, you, hope you're all are safe, and what, what, I, what, I, what I do is I just get, get into my own exercises, keep me going for the time being, and now the restrictions have eased, I'm, I'm, I'm now one step closer to getting back in. So I hope you're all sa staying safe and well and stay fit. Take care. All right, guys, so next we're going to go through some upper body exercises. So today we've got Georgia and Martine pairing up to do a towel row. Um, hopefully there's someone around the house you can use for this. Otherwise, we can work through an alternative uh, in the next episode. So for this exercise, you're gonna need two towels. You're gonna to hook them together, interlink them like so, which is gonna give you a handle to grab each. From here, you're gonna set up seated like so. We're gonna work through, trying to squeeze the towel back, taking you in turns, squeezing your shoulder blades together to work the muscles through your back, really help with, with your posture for this one. So provide enough resistance to your partner that it's difficult without being impossible. So the girls here, doing a pretty good job making it hard for each other. Nice work. Yeah, 
My dream is one day I've always wanted to go to the Paralympics. That's just one of my dreams since I was a kid. So I'd like to keep on going and hopefully I get there one day. I'm training really hard and feeling really good about myself and feeling a lot confident and yeah, yeah. <laughs> my name is Ebony Cooper. I'm an Australian heptathlete. Hello, my name is Kelly Rain and I am a tennis player. To stay safe, I have been washing my hands and using hand sanitizer. I haven't had to stay home. I have a full-time job and I have been working through the virus. I have learned new skills and experienced a, a new role. I have been staying fit using my exercise bike. And I have also been doing Pilates and strength and conditioning with TA. I can't wait to get back to a competition. I'm, I'm ready and I have been training twice a week getting um, back into fitness mode. I really cannot wait to put on the green and gold um, in Belgium next, next year at the World Championships to, and to represent my country. Uh, I have stayed connected with my Australian team and I have also spoken to pl uh, players from Great Britain, Belgium and Italy. I have also, I, I am also enjoying the show as well. Uh, please join me in the next episode. Um, it's going to be even bigger and better um, by, uh, on the SIA Facebook, Twitter on YouTube. Please share with your friends and family. The second tip I offer up around your game plan and looking at your structure of your day and your week is your creative time. Now creative time could mean different things for different people. I know I have a friend who recently just started playing the guitar and learning the guitar and she's just allocated one hour a day to play and learn different notes and different melodies and rhythms and that's been her new thing during this period. For me, creative time has been listening to a different type of music, um, doing a lot of movement because I love yoga and just doing it with no real plan, just doing it with freedom of movement. Um, my nieces came over the other day and we played with shells and we created like a poster with different shells and twigs from the garden. This is really beautiful stuff to do both on your own and with friends and family. And creative time, it helps you um, rest the mind, calm the mind, and it's a great way to sort of express yourself in different ways. So have a look at what your week looks like and if there's some time to put creative time in that week, then do that and see what new hobbies or new creations come out of this period. There's always silver linings. Next up, we've got the old fashioned push up. So we've got Georgia here. She's gonna focus on trying to keep her core nice and tight. Glutes are squeezed, nice and strong. Shoulders are packed in. From there, she's gonna lower down, controlling the movement, trying to stay really neutral through the body. So that's a perfect push up. If you wanna make it a little bit easier, she can set up using the couch by elevating her position a bit. So we'll get her to jump up. From here, all that's gonna do is just shorten the range of motion, make things a little bit easier. And the other variation, if she's good enough, she might try with her feet up on the, uh, on the couch and her arms on the floor. So this one's pretty challenging. But as you can see there, she's nailed it. So give a few of these a go, see how you go, and hopefully uh, test yourself out with a few push-up variations. Again, rep-wise, Stick to about eight to 12. As soon as that gets easy enough, you can add some weight to your back, make it a little bit tougher. So there are a few exercises you can do at home with minimal equipment. Uh, hopefully you've got a little bit out of those. If you have any, any questions or queries, feel free to get in touch with our social media channels 
and we can provide you with some solutions or some alternatives to try and make things a little bit easier if needed. Stay tuned, stay connected, stay safe, and we'll have plenty more to come. Thanks very much. Hi, I'm Jade Lucy. I'm a swimmer. We won this medal at the 2019 Global Games in Brisbane in the 200 freestyle relay. I won it with Amy, Paige and Maddie. I will remember this medal for a long time. Competition will be back Will you be ready? My name is Mac Russell and I'm a rower and I'm on the Australian rowing team. So it's been good to be able to have some international racing, be able to race for your country. I've been rowing for nine years now and I've never had the opportunity to row for Australia. I got excited when I when the opening ceremony was, it all felt real and very exciting. And yeah, when um, and seeing all the other people, all the other athletes too from all the other teams, was all happy. We're all here for one goal to try our best and do our best. So everyone's very happy. I went in seven events uh, on the outdoor rowing, and I was lucky enough to come away with seven gold medals from the for it. The feeling's pretty proud, knowing that your hard work has paid off. Yeah, because I've never had an opportunity to sing a national anthem on top of a gold medal state stand, so it's been pretty cool. And all the Australians are singing the national anthem with you and everything is pretty proud. This is pretty special and I'd like to build on this and do and try and do good next time if I'm chosen to row for Australia again. I've done my hardest when I row that I have no re no regrets when I decide to stop rowing. That I don't say, Oh, I wish I could have done this, could have done that. So hopefully I have no regrets and try my hardest and yeah, try, race the best of my ability every time I race. Sport has no boundary. When you get out there, everyone's on the same level. Most people have the same equipment as you, same gear, and it's just whoever's better on the day that comes away with the result. No matter what country you're from, on the sporting field, everyone speaks the same language. Well, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of SIA TV. Stay tuned for the next episode, and don't forget to tell all your friends. In the meantime, stay safe, Stay active.